Welcome back everyone. Thanks for checking out another video. So Anthony brought his 1997 Honda Civic SI in for a tune today and uh, I thought I'd make a video on it for you guys because it has a pretty cool setup. It made some great power today and uh, I think it'll make for a cool video. So like usual, the, the tuning is all done. Why don't I share some details of this build, share the shots of the dyno poles, and then I will share the final results at the end. All right guys, so this is a bit of a divergence from the normal stuff I put on the channel. Today I have a Turbo B-Series in the shop and uh, I'm seeing less and less of these these days. I do a lot of K-Series tuning, but not so much B-Series. It used to be all B-Series back in the day. Now it's mostly K-Series and newer cars like the Civic Type R's and the 10th Gen Civic SI's. But, uh, but today I have this fully built B-16 Turbo setup for tuning. And, uh, and like I said, it put down some great numbers. So I'm, I thought I would make a video for you guys. Let me know what you think. I'm going to start with the engine. It's fully built. It is a piston rod sleeved engine. It is a B16 block, B16 crank, so it is 1.6 liters. It has Weisco pistons, approximately 10 to 1 compression, mainly H-beam rods, fully built head. It has a set of Skunk 2 Pro 1 cams, springs, retainers, valves, the whole works. Apparently it's been ported. Intake manifold is running a stock Integra Type R intake manifold, uh, three inch charge piping, it's got a precision Gen 3 60, 62 turbo ball bearing, top mount turbo manifold, full three inch exhaust. What's really nice about this setup is the wastegate's actually plumbed into the exhaust so you don't get like the extra noise and the stink in the car. Um, the car is running on a, a set of 1000 cc injectors. It, there's a Walbro 450 fuel pump in the tank. I tuned it on Honda S300 today. It is on pump gas. It is on 93 octane pump gas and we ended up running about 17 pounds of boost. So that's probably about it for the parts. Uh, if I missed anything, I will try to put it in the video description, but uh, why don't I cut to the shots of the dyno poles and then I'll share the final results. All right guys, hopefully you enjoyed those dyno pulls. One thing I did forget to mention is the drivetrain. It has a Type R transmission with an LS fifth gear in it. It is running a comp twin disc clutch and it has a set of uh, insane 500 horsepower axles. 
but I'm sure you're all very interested to see what it put down today. And like I said, put down some great numbers. We did run approximately 17 pounds of boost and it ended up putting down 506 horse, 331 foot pounds torque. The Pro One cams breathe really well all the way up to 9,000. The only thing is VTEC engagement is, is pretty high as well. VTEC is engaging at, I think it was 6,800 RPM um, to have a nice clean engagement and also to rev out to 9,000. We're almost at the max of this fuel system. The injectors are at 80% and I know the owner wants to push this car for even more with some ethanol in the future. So we've been discussing how best to go about that, what to do about the fuel system to still keep this a streetable car because he likes to drive it on the street, but he wants more power. And uh, since we're almost at the end of this fuel system, he's gonna have to think about what best to do. So hopefully we'll be seeing this car again in the future with a better fuel system and some ethanol, and we'll see how far we can push this uh, V16 engine. But uh, that's probably about it for this video, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Like always, if you did, do me a favor, hit that like button. If you haven't already, consider subscribing, and I will continue to keep making these videos for you guys. So thanks again for watching, and I will see you again soon. Bye now.